What's going on, Explorers? It's Brandon Abandon, the Six Four Explorer, supporting the Thoroughbred Stickland. I got a really cool spot for you guys today. I'm in a really cool time capsule. Well, it's almost a time capsule, but it's a bungalow. There's a lot of cool stuff left behind, as you can see. Like, it's set up. There's no mess, really. It's got one of the coolest bathrooms I've ever seen. I'm all done up. I got my winter gear on. Got the camouflage backpack. Got to make sure we can sneak in and out real good. I hope you guys are going to like this explore. Hit the like. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe. And let's get exploring. So here's the front of the house. The door is completely gone. Ceiling's coming right down. But this is a really cool little house. If I didn't say it in the intro, I just want to give a little shout out to Abandon Ontario. I'll flash his link down on the bottom. He's at uh, he's on Instagram. Check him out. He's got tons of good pictures. He finds a lot of cool spots. It smells very skunky in here. It's Conan Explorers. Dirty mirror. That's probably why it smells right there. We've got an animal bathroom. Nice green and blue. <laughs> There's not much going on on this side of the house, but just wait till you see what's going on in the other side of the house. And this is weird. So this must be an attachment to the house because they just got a hole there that goes right down to the basement. You can see that down there. Weird. What's this little box? It's empty. A little orange box there. A nice bulkhead going across the roof, that's all right. Look at the size of this cobweb. That's horrible. Look at that. We got like five foot tall, well, no, it's almost six foot tall wainscoting with a shelf on top. This is really nice. Wraps the whole room. Some beautiful old lights. It's supposed to look like the oil lights. I like that. More mess of the ceiling coming down. These beams are really cool. And if you notice, it doesn't even touch the roof. So it's not for support in any way, it's just strictly detail. But a really nice detail if you ask me. Now that's kind of like a laundry room. Yeah, see look, you can see a little bit of the groovy bathroom there, eh? I really like the washroom in here, you'll be surprised. Got an old MP3 Discman. Got a boarded up window. I like how the stucco's going through the house too. And then here, this would have been your laundry room. So you can tell by the big water pipe coming up. But maybe somebody had swept some of it in here or this was just the ceiling that come down. Now I definitely think somebody cleaned up the house a little bit when they were squatting here and kept everything in the room. But I've never understood why do these squatters have to like just drink a coffee and throw it down right beside them or have a cigarette and just butt it out on the table. You're still squatting there, keep it clean. Look at this. Woo! That's cool. The colors are still so vibrant and beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. What colors do you think those are from? What year? 60s? And now I was here with Noah. And when we were filming a second house after this house, my SD card went corrupt. So I lost everything. And I'm refilming this house now. I'm here by myself. But I remember this house has one of the scariest things I've ever seen in it. Are you ready? 
I'm gonna show you right now. It's on the back of the door. All right. Oh, man skibbies. Nasty. Just hanging up on the door too. Head level. Like, come on, what's wrong with people? That's a nasty trick right there. <laughs> like they even tiled the little bulkhead. I could stay in this bathroom forever. I won't though, cause the other part of the house is really, really cool too. So you gotta see it. I almost thought that was a bug, but it's, but even those blue tiles are cool. They almost look greener in person. These blue ones here, they're almost a lot bluer on the camera than they are when you're actually here. Now you guys wait and see what's coming up in this room here. It's starting to get a little dark, but everything's all boarded off anyway. So as you can see, we've got the squatter door. They're normally just sheets that are hanging. Whoa, look at that. Okay, no, 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 we're gonna go this way first. Kitchen first, that's just a little tease. There's some more tile here, that's nice. Oh, we got a collection, a bag of cigarette butts. Nice. See, there's a whole bunch of stuff left. A whole lot of garbage. We got some beers. We got ourselves a real old, real old Black & Decker toaster oven. Mm. And a real old onion. We got some vapes. If I see anything that's got a date on it, I'll read it for you. The ceiling and air is starting to look pretty rough too. But I like how like everything's made out of wood. All the walls, stucco and wood detail. It's beautiful. It's a Weird tiny little shelf. Quite nasty. That would have been your side door. Then we got a whole lot of masks. Somebody was squatting during COVID. Is that a car? Ooh! I thought that was wood, so I touched it. It's foam. Fancy brush. Some nice trophies. Even though they're broken, somebody kept them together. That's always a good thing to see. You would add some sort of a wood stove, wood oven here, underneath this hole in the ceiling. Yeah, nice old light. Like, it almost feels like you're in a barn outside, but you're not, you're inside. It's very cool. It's a very cool feeling. All right, now this room is the best room in the house. The bathroom, the bathroom's close, but just the way that this is still, whoop, sorry, still completely set up. We even got somebody's jacket. We got a backpack. It's weird that this glass door from the kitchen into here, but it's pretty neat. At least it's not all smashed up. Look, we even got a backpack. But if you look at the backpack, see the mold spots and everything starting on it? So this backpack's been sitting here <laughs> easy, easy a year, right? That just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen fast, even with the door being wide open. Got ourselves a Canadian flag, Canada bandana. See another jacket. That's a cool inside. Like a greenish red. Merry Christmas, everybody. No power. So you got the big curtains up. There's a big road, big main street going across here. So he's definitely got it covered up, so he's hiding. But again, nobody, it doesn't seem like anybody's been here for a long time now. Nothing seems to be fresh. Again, that bag's got mold on it. 
petit peu les liens. See, and there's tons of newspapers on the wall. I took a peek at them, but he seemed to have covered up every spot that has a date because he covered up the top bits, right? Two inches over, two inches over. An old carpet up there. Or an old blanket that's ripped up. <laughs> this tire here goes to the bike there. So we do got a full piece. But like, what's with, we got a child's shoe got a kid's dress like that's kind of creepy got a map but like it's the most blank map I've ever seen doesn't have any of the provinces or states or anything separated this door here is used to cover up a door <laughs> as you can tell there's that little step right there but it's weird to have two doors going into your, into your living room. And there's no upstairs, this is just a bungalow. So that wouldn't be going upstairs. Yeah, real cool. See what I mean? Like who set this up? Here's the lady's shoes to go with the dress. I thought this was something fancy before, but it's not. It's just a, uh, what is that? Steel wool. We got another little toy. And then up here we got Mazda keys. Everything's still left. Front door spare. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Now, as we go here. He's got, he's got his chair, jacket, some pencils, lighters, zigzags, a cup for his cigarette butts, a little tiny shark, and here, this is like a little beanie cap with, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But it's broken now. And we got an umbrella down here. And so that's pretty interesting. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool room. Let's do one more little slow pan of it. Kid dress with the one shoe. strange but very very cool and so this door just seemed weird to me again right because you got your kitchen door you got that door which definitely goes outside uh sorry no that door there just leads now to right here is there a door out there no see that door was just here so I don't know why they covered it up, well, the way that they did. But yeah, that's there, that doesn't go outside. So I wanted to check this door, right? So I just grabbed it. Just, it was just resting there. So I guess we just didn't <laughs> try it while we were here. This is an upstairs. So I'm wrong, this isn't a bungalow. Because again, I checked outside and you could definitely see there was more to this house. But you've seen how bad some of it is, so maybe they put the wood there just to keep us safe. Hello? Just an explorer. He's six foot four and he's 210, but he's a friendly guy. This is pretty cool. A whole lot of weird, weird kind of paperwork. 
It's almost like it's just instructions and it's the same. Uh, now it says CIBC, so it's somebody's, somebody's work. All right. It's a cool little, cool little closet to accent the roof. See, it's almost like this might have been a bungalow, but they kind of turned the attic into something really cool. Look at the lights, just from, just from the windows that they have. Like, this is very, very cool. Really, really cool. Not just that, but I got a nice giant heater. Some little machine plugged in over here. Little equalizer. Check it out. Now I gotta be careful. You see now the ceiling was downstairs and this floor is just not sounding very good. Look at the size of these, these feathers. So, it looks like something big probably got eaten up here. <laughs> we got a little bit of perfume. Oh crap. So there he is. Like that bird is gigantic. Yeah, see something something ate its head. Something ate the chest out of it. Sorry, bird. That sucks. He was probably in here dead and then a raccoon or something come in afterwards. They even had a patio up here. That's really cool. It's big too. As you can tell, it's been snowing. It's snowing here. I'll see if I can't get into that little garage building. Never really noticed it before until being up here. Let's take a peek at this big window here. Uh -huh. They boarded it up so that it wouldn't get broken. But that's cool. This is a really cool little attic. I'm so happy I moved that board now. I'm gonna have to send Noah back here. But isn't that cool? Okay. So there's a basement door here. I had it open last time, so there we go. Get my new, get my new gear dirty. Crap, oh. <clears throat> I had to use that 210 pound body to bash that door open. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I can stand up down here too. Just barely, but it's one of the taller basements. Just wanted to see what that little hole was there. A little workshop table, a fan and some garbage. So it's clean, that's a good thing. <laughs> well, actually, sometimes it's cool to see a lot of garbage and stuff in the basement more so it's just it's clean that there's no uh there's not a lot of cobwebs or spiders hanging around really which is a bonus but again we were here not long ago so maybe we walked through it and cleared it out this is me refilming because i lost that footage but a place like this i don't mind coming back it's not far from home and it's a really cool spot all right, so we're back here. This house has a really big property for just <laughs> the size of the house that it is. There's that little garage. I said I'd make it over too. Let me get my light. Man, 
This whole place smells really bad of skunk. Or maybe it's just wet animal crap, but it's not nice. A couple of real old bottles down there. It's a really nice table. Look at the woodwork on it. The legs are carved. This koi fish. A very cool old TV. And things pretty awesome. Scary electrical. An old bell. Very cool. This was a little hangout. This wasn't a garage. This was just a cool spot to chill. I like that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this house. What a really cool spot. I love when things are still set up like this and there's no vandalism. I'm surprised. Maybe it's because it's so cool inside that nobody's come by and done anything bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this spot. I loved it. Out with the new gear. Winter time. Feeling good. Looking good. Like it. Subscribe it. Share it. Thanks for the comments. For your love. For the views. Again, check out Abandon Ontario. And ciao for now. I'll catch you on the next Explore. Follow